What's good, YouTube? It's Philosopher Joey. Today I'm gonna be playing for you a uh, Shitaro Deathmatch parkour that I made for you guys and for myself as well. Uh, basically, I was playing a uh, Shitaro race parkour and it did not work out so hot. Uh, the person that made it clearly has no fucking idea what they're doing. So, like every single parkour that I ever made, that's the reason for me making this. I was like, I really want a good parkour that I can play that uses the Shitaro. Um, I guess quick note, uh, Momo to JC, I don't know where the fuck he's at, he hasn't made a, a new parkour in a while, but he made a very, very solid uh, Shitaro parkour and stuff. It was very, very difficult though, but... Oh, come on, don't, 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 don't. This guy's going too slow. But yeah, I guess these guys are probably going to take it a little bit slower than I would because I am the one that made this. But yeah, this thing is um, it's pretty difficult, I'm not going to lie. Like I, I definitely did not make this an easy parkour because I didn't want people just like you know, coming in and completing it in like two minutes or something like that, but overall, I mean, it's still, it's still pretty solid. I didn't make it like so challenging that it was like impossible to do, but there, there are definitely some parts that like you got to slow down and like kind of take your time on. Like, uh, this right here was probably the hardest to like, to try to like, um, what's the word? Configure. Damn, I was making sure the dude didn't like bump into me. Um, but this was like the hardest to configure only because like I had to like make sure all the, the stuff right there was like lined up. Because, like, when you jump off and stuff, like, it pretty much has to be straight up. Otherwise, you'll just, like, fall right off. But, yeah. Most of the most of the stuff, though, isn't, like, too challenging, though. Like I said, it's just very, very... You just gotta be very, very careful to not, like, fall. Alright, there we go. But, yeah, I think probably the hardest part, if I'm being realistic, is, uh, there's, like, a little tightrope thing that I put up here that... I've seen it used in a lot of, like, parkour races, but... Oh, god, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> oh, god, I gotta sneeze. It's not fucking coming. Whatever. It is what it is. But yeah, I've seen um, tight ropes like this in parkour races and stuff, and I haven't seen any death matches use it, so I was like, fuck it, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this in my, my death match. But I think these things are, like, very, very nerve-wracking. Like, they're, they're very easy to get across. You just have to go very, very slow and just, I mean, literally just go in a straight line. But, it, like, other than that, I mean, it, it is kind of, like, nerve-wracking. And of course, of course I fuck up on the easy fucking part. Oh my goodness. It's because I gotta sneeze. That's all it is. But alright, yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so this is my uh, this is my parkour that I can't complete. No, I even in like the testing process, I, ch I had a little bit of uh, trouble with it. But like I said, I mean, I, I did want to make it challenging so that like people weren't just completing it in like a couple minutes. But all right, let's let's see if we can actually get get across some of this shit some, this time. But yeah, for this little tip, I guess is really just I mean. Like, just accelerate. I mean, you don't really have to move around too much. It should be pretty easy to get across, as long as, as long as you, like, can keep the bike straight, which I understand on GTA that can be a problem, because vehicles have a tendency to fucking, like, go, like, 45 degrees to the left or the right for no reason sometimes, um, as I have experienced many times with my, with the parkour races that I've played. Alright, let's, uh, let's get across this. But yeah, I, I don't know, I... Like I said, I, I haven't seen a, a parkour that really used the Shitaro the right way. I felt like like it's a bike that has a lot of speed to it, and it has the ability to accelerate very, very quickly. That's why a lot of people use it in actual races. But um, like that being the case, like I, and it's very long. I figured there were like a lot of different ways to utilize it for parkour that I just haven't seen yet. So, hence the reason like all the little like jumps and stuff like that are angled and everything like that. I think it's like the perfect bike for that. All right. It's probably not the perfect bike for this, which is the reason that I set the container pretty low. Normally on those, like if you were using like the body or like the the Hakucho or something like that, the whenever you do the little like um, I don't even know what you call it, the little jump where you like bounce off the bottom of the bike on like the bench. Um, normally, if that was like a, a body or a Hakucho or something like that, I would set the container you land on like a lot higher. All right, this right here is uh, this right here is definitely the hardest part. But the, there's a reason that I did this. It's because the the Shitaro, out of all the bikes that you could do this with, the Shitaro is literally the best bike for it. Just because it is so long, it has the ability to like stretch across these distances really, really well. It's very, very tedious, very, very difficult. Maybe something that if people complain about it enough, oh god, ooh, <laughs> I made this and I'm fucking nervous. But if people complain about it enough, like once people play it, I might take it off. But it's one of those things that you just have to be very, very careful. But other than that, it's very easy. So fuck yeah. It took me like five minutes. That's not too bad. So for you guys that have, you know, have, have that will go on to play this or whatever, I think it's probably, excuse me, this is part. 
probably reasonable that you guys will probably complete it in like seven minutes, maybe something like that. I mean, it's really just a matter of like getting used to where like all the props are and stuff. But I'll leave the link. I'll leave the link in the description, obviously, as usual. I don't even. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm getting these guns. I really don't. I always do this. That's like I don't know. It's just one of those moments where like I literally just have like a brain lapse and I forget what the fuck I'm doing. Like I never. Oh, okay, cool. Just you know, just fall and die on impact. That's. It's realistic though. The Shitaro doesn't have like any shocks because it's all trying to be like Tron and shit. But I, I don't know. I always seem to get the guns and stuff in death matches for no reason because I never do like RNGs or I never fuck around in free mode or anything like that. Occasionally, maybe maybe sometimes I fuck around in free mode like. There have been instances where I'll like, I'll play like a, a, a deathmatch or a race or something like that, and then, um, does this guy want, does this guy want this? Not well organized. The guy said the last purple one is not well organized. That is the point. <laughs> it is slightly to the right. You just have to like, you gotta, anyways, it, it's fine. I understand what they're saying. But like, what I was saying is like, sometimes if I'm on, if I'm playing like free mode, and um, like someone, if I like, or sorry, if I'm not playing free mode, if I'm like coming out, coming out of like a race or a deathmatch or something like that, and like my character is just standing there and like I walk away, um, people will fuck with me because that's what people in free mode do. But then occasionally I'll, I'll like actually fight back with some of the trolls, but most of the time I don't give a shit. But yeah, that, um, oh, he's definitely gonna die. Cool. <laughs> Use the parachute as I'm about to fucking smack the ground. This seems like a good idea. But no, the, the, the last, like, I'll show you guys what, if you guys saw the message that popped up in the left-hand corner. Um, he was saying that the last purple thing is not very well organized. It is intended to be that way. Like, it's, um, I'll show you guys. Let me get to it. Alright, so, like, whenever I was placing these down and stuff, like, I had, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, like, I, I could have fixed it, but I was like, that actually kind of makes it more challenging. So like if you guys do play this, just kind of like go to the right of the uh, the little thing right there, and you should be fine. I mean, people seem to have been getting across it just fine. So, all right, we're gonna we're gonna try to complete it again with the white bike. I don't know. I don't like. Usually, obviously, I think people have commented on it plenty of times in my videos. I I like to use like the the yellow vehicles, yellow vehicles, green vehicles, or pink vehicles. Mainly because they just stand out really well for thumbnails, and I also kind of, I don't know. I like brighter colors and stuff for vehicles. But normally I wouldn't use white as a color for a vehicle, but I think it looks really good on the Shitaro. Alright. So let's see if this guy can get across this shit. Oh wait, this is, oh, oh, sorry, I'm not trying to hit you. Go ahead, let me get out of your way. Let me get over here so you don't, so you don't get bumped into you. This, is, <laughs> this was the guy that was uh, talking about the purple thing that's not well situated. What is he doing? Is he, you can't you can't do it on foot. <laughs> what are you pointing at, bitch? Can I do parkour with you from yesterday? I don't know yesterday. What parkour I played yesterday? This thing, if if he's talking about this thing being well situated, I don't know. That's 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 questionable because this thing is this thing is perfectly situated. It's very difficult, but I mean it's still well situated. It's a tightrope for the fucking ages, isn't it? I think this thing is perfect for a tightrope. Like it's, and plus, like the Shitaro is, uh, if you guys have ever used it, it's the perfect bike for like tightropes and stuff because it's the wheels are fucking fat as hell. Like they're like, looks like, realistically, if we were measuring that in real life, those wheels are probably like fucking. I would give it at least like a foot and a half wide. I mean that that's those wheels are fat as hell. But, all right. I don't know what that guy's talking about. The the last thing not being um, well organized. It is what it is, I guess. I guess if you know you're not the one that created it, that would that would probably come off that way. All right, let's see if we can do this again. <laughs> so far, it looks like I'm the only person that has completed it, and that's kind of unfortunate because I I didn't want to make it like so difficult that nobody was gonna be able to complete it. But it appears I may have done that. I believe in you guys. I believe in the people that will go on to play this. If you're if you're capable of doing this, then you're fucking cool in my book. All right, yeah. Let's do this. Let's complete this one more time. Let's just glide across the fucking map. Cool parkour, bro. Thanks, man. I very much appreciate that. Even though you were criticizing it. I'm kidding. So, fuck yeah. There's only like 19 seconds left. I'm not getting the guns because there's no reason to get the guns. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that cool, super fun stuff. 
I will definitely leave the link in the description down below as my character points to down below. I will leave the link in the description down below so that you guys can play it if you want to. But thank you guys for watching. What is my character doing? He's literally pointing in two different directions.